1.8 million Android TV devices have been affected by malware and could be attacking the internet right now without their owners knowing. A botnet called Kimwolf has infected smart TVs, TV boxes and set-top boxes across 222 countries. These devices are launching DDoS attacks and running proxy services for criminals. Your streaming box could well be one of them. So how serious is this? Well, one of Kim Wolf's control servers became the most visited domain on the earth for a short period. More traffic than Google. Between the 19th of November and the 22nd of November, the botnet issued 1.7 billion attack commands in three days, spraying DDoS attacks randomly across the internet. It looked like the operators were showing off, building a reputation, proving what they can do. So what is a botnet? Well, a botnet is short for robot network. It's a group of internet connected devices infected and controlled by a malicious actor, often without the owner of the infected box's knowledge. These devices, called bots or zombies, follow commands from a central command and control server. So therefore, your device could be infected and could be being used as part of a DDoS attack. So what is a DDoS attack? Well, DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service. It's typically a cyber attack where the goal is to make the website, server or network resource unavailable to users by completely overwhelming it with loads of traffic. And what's happened here is malware has been downloaded to Android TV boxes and it can be controlled in any way, shape or form as the writer of the, the, the malware decides. So at the moment, it's decided to, to launch a DDoS attack last month, but it could be used for other things. It could also be used for spreading viruses. It could be used for attacking websites or servers and harvesting data. And of course, because it's using Android TV boxes to do whatever it's been programmed to do, these commands are unknowingly coming from yours and my internet connection. So therefore, it makes it almost impossible to trace back the person that's actually running the attack. Now, the infected devices are mostly cheap Android TV boxes, which run outdated firmware and rarely or never receive security updates. A known affected models are TV Box, Super Box, X96Q, MX10, HIDPT Android and P200 boxes. But it should be said it's not just limited to those boxes. So if your Android box hasn't had a security update in a while, then it might be time to consider replacing it. Also, you really need to avoid sideloading or if you are going to sideload, get your files from a trusted source. And also before you load those files, make sure that you scan them with a website such as VirusTotal. So going back to Kim Wolf, what does it actually do? Well, your TV box becomes part of a network that routes criminal traffic. Hackers, fraudsters and anyone who needs to hide their real location pays to use your IP address. And this is all done through your box without your knowledge. As I said earlier, Kim Wolf has been used back in November for DDoS attacks. The botnet supports 13 different attack methods across protocols such as UDP, TCP and ICMP. An estimated total capacity of around 30 terabits per second. This is not theoretical. The same group already broke DDoS records this year with a 29.6 terabits per second attack on gaming platforms. The operators of Kim Wolf also installed Byte Connect SDK on infected devices. It is a legitimate monetization program that sells bandwidth. With 1.8 million devices, researchers estimate they're making around $88,200 per month. So how would you know if your box has been affected? Well, 
It could be that you've noticed a slowdown in your internet or high network traffic. It could be that your device is running hot when idle. So turn your box off, leave it for an hour or so, and just perhaps feel it. You might also be able to look at your router logs if you find strange outbound connections in your router logs, then again, that can also indicate that you're affected. So again, what can you do to avoid this? So avoid cheap Android TV boxes from unknown manufacturers. Never install APKs from unknown sources. If you do sideload APKs, then do make sure that you virus check them before you load them, i.e. you can do that from a PC by going to VirusTotal's website. So download the app onto your PC and then scan it with your PC's antivirus and also go to VirusTotal.com. And also, if your device hasn't received any security updates for over a year, consider replacing it. And it's also worthwhile checking to see whether there are any updates to your device. And generally to do that, you just go across to the settings cog over there on the right, then go into all settings and then go down to system and then across and into about and then into system update. And then it should check for updates and tell you whether or not it's up to date. But if you haven't noticed any updates come through for over a year, then it's quite possible that your device is no longer being supported and probably never will now. So it's worth considering changing your device. Another way you can check how far up to date your system is, is if you go again across to settings and then into all settings and then go down to system and then down to about and then go down and you should see there the Android TV OS security patch level. And if that's within a year of today's date, then probably you're all right and the device is probably still receiving security updates. But if you do notice any issues, if you notice a sudden internet slowdown, if you notice your device is running hot when it's not being used, or you look in your router logs and you find traffic coming out or in to your Android TV box, especially when you're not using it, then it may be worth hitting the factory reset and resetting it back up from scratch. I hope you liked this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help Help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.